welcome you all to this session today my topic is categorical syllogism let you know what is syllogism then after that what is categorical syllogism 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 is a mediate deductive inference in which the conclusion is drawn from two premises taken jointly that means it is a mediate deductive inference so what is mediate deductive inference deductive inference is that where the conclusion is particular and the conclusion is drawn from universal to particular mediate inference is that when we use more than one premise that is mediate inference so syllogism is a mediate deductive inference in which the conclusion is drawn from two premises taken jointly that means here we use two premises and one conclusion that conclusion is drawn from two premises then categorical syllogism a categorical syllogism is a mediate deductive inference in which the argument consisting of three categorical proposition and the conclusion is drawn from the two premises taken jointly that means both are same syllogism and categorical syllogism difference is that here we use categorical proposition in syllogism we use hypothetical proposition alternative disjunctive proposition but in categorical syllogism we use only categorical proposition and it is also mediate deductive inference and the conclusion is drawn from two premises taken jointly that means to from two premises the conclusion is drawn and uh, consisting of three categorical proposition that means here three the argument consists of three proposition and two proposition is two premises and one is the conclusion next point what is the nature and characteristics of syllogism a syllogism must have three proposition in a syllogism there is three proposition and also a syllogism must have three term that means in a syllogism we get three proposition and three terms then the premises and the conclusion are categorical proposition that means premise एवं कंक्लूजन कैटेगोरिकल प्रोपोजिशन है थी वो जिम्मेदारी की ए ई आई ओ ए प्रोपोजिशन यूनिवर्सल एफर्मेटिव ई प्रोपोजिशन यूनिवर्सल नेगेटिव आई प्रोपोजिशन पर्टिकुलर एफर्मेटिव ओ प्रोपोजिशन पर्टिकुलर नेगेटिव लाइ दिस दिस आर द कैटेगोरिकल प्रोपोजिशन दैट मींस इन सिलोजिम इन कैटेगोरिकल next point the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises that means conclusion is necessarily follows from nischinta bhavare conclusion ti uh, follow karuthubo premise ru by logical implication logically seta imply karuthubo premise ru jota conclusion asuthubo for example here i have taken an example all men are mortal ram is a man therefore ram is mortal here it is all men are mortal is a uh, a proposition and it is universal to particular that means it is a deductive inference and mediate inference because here we use two premises and a conclusion and a three proposition that means it is 1 2 and 3 here we use three proposition and must have three term one man one term second term and third term is mortal sorry ram man mortal and ram these are the three terms the premises and the conclusion are categorical proposition and all are categorical proposition and the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises by logical implication so here ram is mortal is follows from two premises that means all men are mortal ram is a man therefore ram is mortal here the conclusion is necessarily follows from the premises by logical implication next different philosopher define syllogism differently according to johnson 
uh, what is the definition of syllogism according to Johnson uh, syllogism is an argument containing two premises and a conclusion and involving between them three terms each of which occurs in two different proposition then according to Joseph definition of syllogism according to Joseph syllogism is that uh, a syllogism is an argument in which uh, from the given relation of two terms in the way of subject and predicate to the same and third term there follow necessarily a relation in the way of subject and predicate between those two terms themselves it is the definition of joseph and johnson definition of syllogism that means here we use two premises and uh, a conclusion and three terms and two different proposition in syllogism we use three terms what are the what are they they are minor terms middle terms and major term so what is minor terms the subject of the conclusion is called minor term and what is major term the predicate of the conclusion is major term and what is middle term the term which is present in both the premises and not in the conclusion is called middle term then what is major premise the premise in which major term is related with middle term it is called major premise then what is minor premise the premise in which minor term is related to middle term it is called minor premise here we get three two premises and one conclusion first two are premises and last one is conclusion here in the conclusion minor term is the subject so the subject of the conclusion is called minor term and in this is the conclusion ram is mortal here subject is ram and predicate is mortal this ram is minor term this is the subject of the conclusion and predicate of the conclusion is called major term and the term which is present in both premise here is one premise a second premise the term which is present in both the premise that means uh, the term man is present in both the premise so man is the middle term this one major premise this one minor premise and this one conclusion and it is the middle term the term which is present in both the premise man is present in major premise and minor premise so it is called middle term and it is minor term it is major term and this one major premise minor premise and this one conclusion thank you